All right, the Arduino has on board analog to digital conversion, a very powerful tool in your arsenal. Let's use them. I like the pick, they are 10 bit ADD converters, so it'll spit out a number between 0 and 1023. And like any digital input or A to D input on other microcontrollers, it's very, very important that your signal voltage you're feeding in does not exceed the supply voltage. In this case, the supply voltage is 5 volts. On some Arduinos, the supply voltage is 3.3 volts, so you have to be even more careful. You'll see the analog pins here marked with an A. You've got six of them, A0 through A5. To figure this out and to ensure you don't exceed the supply voltage, we'll put a voltage divider across the power supply. So you can see what I did here. I used a pot, though you can use whatever you'd like. Just make a voltage divider from positive to negative with the variable resistor involved, uh, your photocell, thermistor, a variable resistor, or whatever. Build, a, build the voltage divider across from positive to negative with the junction going into the analog input of your choice. In my case, I used A4 just because. <laughs> Hull out the Arduino bare minimum sketch. So file, examples, basics, bare minimum. I'm going to use the serial monitor so I can get a direct read from the analog conversion. So I set up the serial connection with serial.begin ninety six hundred. You then need to set up the analog pin as an input. So pin mode A4 or whatever you are using, comma, input. Then down in the loop function, I'll do a serial line print and then here's where the magic happens. I'll do an, I'll perform an analog read of A4. Now, if I had declared a variable, like reading one, uh, I could put in a line like reading one equals analog read a four. And that would read the analog input and store whatever number it got into that variable. However, I just skipped over all of that because this is just a demonstration. And I just put the analog read instruction as what I wanted to print into the serial monitor. So flash your Arduino and fire up your serial monitor and watch the magic. So there you have it, an analog input. So you can use this to read any variable voltage and it will compare it to its supply voltage of zero to five volts. Five volts will give a reading of 1023. Zero volts will give it a reading of zero. So each digit represents roughly five millivolts, just a touch less. I'm, ju I'm just rounding the number off to uh, a thousand and dividing five volts by 1000. Oops, got a loose wire there. So build that up and play with it. And if you're brave, set it up so that your servo motor changes position according to your analog input. If I may make a suggestion, you need a pulse width of roughly 1,000 microseconds to 2,000 microseconds. Well, as you saw, you can go over that. So just add your analog number to 1,000 and then use that result as the delay time for your servo pulse width. Easy peasy or what, eh? So there's your challenge for this lesson. If you figure it out and it works, or even if it doesn't, post your code and maybe a video of your circuit in operation in the comments section uh, we would all like to see what you're accomplishing.